Hi, I get this question asked a lot. Sandy, I have a home to sell and then I'd like to buy and I'd like to buy contingent on me receiving the funds from my home sale. How is this going to happen? Well, it is a uphill climb in mud. <laughs> no, honestly, it's not that bad. We can help you. We do this all the time. What has to happen generally is to make your life easier is it's it's not good to go shopping around and telling, seeing homes and making offers on homes and then letting the agent know, hey, I still have to put my home on the market. I haven't even put it on, but I'm pretty sure it's going to sell and uh, I'll make an offer and I'll just tie up your home until I feel like I can sell mine. Probably not the best way to go about things. Um, I know that a lot of buyers want to look around to see what they can get for their money. If you happen to fall in love with a home, then my advice usually is, as a real estate agent in North and South Carolina, it usually is, okay, let's get your home on the market. Let's get it listed with professional photography. Let's stage it. Let's get it on with um, amazing you know, marketing ad copy and let it, let's get this on the market and gauge what type of activity we're going to see. And I'll also do a market analysis on your home to see what the average days on market would be. We're going to give you a pretty knowledgeable, experienced idea of the, the job that we can do on your, on your listing. So once we get all that done and we put your house on the market, I know it's scary. You have to get an offer on it. You've got to get an offer. You don't have to take the offer. There's no one that's going to strong arm you to accept the offer, the first offer that comes along. But let's say you get an offer and it's pretty good. Then you can go ahead and make an offer on another property. You can either accept that offer and we can beef up the timing giving you more months or weeks or whatever we need to do to go out and now purchase another home and make it all contingent and line up with all the dates. So we can do that. We can give you a couple months. We can probably negotiate with the buyer of your home on a length, lengthier contract, like a longer time frame. Or we can go make an offer on another home and say, we have an offer. Here it is. We are about to sign it and sell the home, but we want to make a deal with you. So this happens all the time. It is not unusual. It is kind of scary. There is money involved, but, um, you know, without risk, there is no reward. So we are able, we don't risk too much. I promise we try to risk the least amount of money for you. And we just try to get you what you want, right? Um, we try to get you in the home of your dreams and we try to sell your home for the most money. So that's a goal. And we do it all and we line it all up. And I know it sounds crazy, but my clients always, always seem to find a home when I sell their home. They always find one. Sometimes they look for, for months and years and then they, they're so scared to put their home on the market. They have this fear that they're going to be homeless and they're going to have nowhere to go. It happens every single time. You are not alone if you think this or feel this. Um, but my clients have been so great with me and they trust me and they believe in me to the, do the job. And I always have awesome ideas. We can rework and renegotiate and redo anything to make it work or fit for your plan and your budget.